Yeah, um, well, I guess for people just tuning in, uh, my name's WNE or Winnie. Um, I just played last week against Kiz uh, Kizzer Crate. Props to him. And then joining me on the mic today will be Silva Hime and Sway. What up, guys? So, we got a good match coming up. Right now, we have Gekio from Indiana, who is, you know, you don't see Axel very often, so, and whenever you do hear about Axels, it's usually him and a couple others around the country. And we also have Devo coming up, who he used to be a Slayer player. He plays Soul now. He's from Washington. Um, you know, it's definitely going to be a really good match. These two haven't played very often, which I think is really good good chance to see how they do fare against each other and yes yeah, so this is super steam exert exhibition league you know every week bringing you all the good stuff yeah uh shout outs to uh shout outs to silva and shout outs to sim for putting this together and well, organizing you know, the whole thing you know it's not very often outside of tournaments we see high level match or high, high level exhibitions so this is going to be really good so, Soul versus Axel. And you know, this is actually the first time me researching this matchup. I've never played either of these characters. And Gekio seemed to say that it is in Axel's favor. And so did Devo. Devo said that as well. I can it's definitely see that. It's confusing for me because, I mean, you often hear Axel's bad or, you know, whatever. You rarely hear people say, yeah, Axel wins that. Especially versus a character like Soul, who's so well-rounded. Yeah, Soul's definitely got, I think, overall, a stronger tool set. But in the, in particular, in this matchup, Axel just has the longer range. Rensen destroys Gunflame. Um, mm -hmm. So his ground game is kind of going to be a little... He's going to have to put himself more at risk. He's going to yeah, have Soul. to choose to jump in and FD at the same time, or go for something crazy. Yeah, Soul doesn't really have any buttons to challenge. Usually, like, a person's game plan versus Axel, either hit the chains or get in real quick. Where, like, Soul doesn't really... What's he going to hit the chains with? He's not really going to push his way forward. Um, but once he's in, he's in. I, but, you know, Axel also has a DP. So he has to be wary of that and be able to punish that when it happens. Yeah, that's going to be one of the, uh, Axel's biggest tools on defense in this matchup. Um, and, well, it'll be interesting to see how Devo either hates it or reacts to how Gekio is going to use it and how they adapt with that. Well, Devo also said that he doesn't have much experience versus Axel, so we're probably going to see a bit of that in this matchup. Yes, but they did play each other at some point. Um, actually, it looks like a few times. So yeah, they have some familiarity, at least, with each other's playstyles. Yeah, Gekio was saying that he knows that Devo likes to wild throw a lot. So, I mean, is he, hopefully he doesn't get baited by that and starts looking out for it too hard and then gets hit. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, maybe he will actually just get wild thrown a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll look to see if there's going to so, be some jump outs or uh, some call outs to the jump outs too later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely something you got to watch out for. Yeah, I think this is going to be a very even matchup. I, if you had to guess, don't guess who wins, but guess the score. You got to tell the stream who you think is going to win. Hmm. I'm thinking it'll be seven five. I think it's going to be real close. That is, I was thinking either seven five or seven four. Well, Dave. I remember recently Devo at Frosty Faustings had a pretty. If you didn't have a good performance, I remember people talking about him. They were they were like, "Yeah, man, Devo blew me up." <laughs> I mean, he's got nine O's in his name, so. <laughs> but yeah, I actually knew him as a Slayer player first. Um, I remember watching him at Evo. He did really well at Evo 2015, almost making it out of his pool. Um. And back then, you didn't really see many Slayers because in the older versions, he wasn't as good as he is now. Well, he still isn't, like, great, but... Yeah, they've been slowly bluffing him every single patch. Mm hmm But, you know, David wasn't going to wait around. He just went, I'm going straight to Soul, <laughs> straight to the top. Not a bad decision in my book. Seriously. 
And I guess uh, right before we get started, I uh, definitely want to give a shout out to Shore Yukin. Uh, thanks for putting covering this, and uh, thanks especially to Wukash for interviewing the players and yes, yes. putting us on the front page and getting us more coverage. Yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. We want people to tune in for these awesome matches. Yeah, so make sure you guys tell other people, get them in here, and uh, retweet. All right, I'm gonna tell them to start. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, guys, get hyped. Let's go. All right. Swaggy White Axel versus Green Soul. Soul's, it's Soul's Patrick Day right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke, guys. I'm that was, sorry. That was Mr. K level, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yes, yeah, so I guess he was gonna look to sort of sit back and not let him get in while Davos plan is to really get in his face as fast as possible. Cool, round start DP. That, that is ballsy. You see, this is kind of what we were saying. He's gonna keep him out with Renson so he can't gun plane. You see, oh, that is a he, massive loud that. So Axel's chains have a hurtbox on it. That was very smart of him to go for that. YRC, and a burst. Ooh, he's jumping forward at Soul. I don't know if that's what he wants yeah. to do. Not sure I agree with that. Oh, he's a counter hit Fafnir, and Devo is in. Oh, son! Keep it going. I think this round is over. Yeah, he's there we got go. the follow up. There we go. Man, he is coming out strong. So much momentum coming out. More patient round start from Devo this time. Okay, so sitting okay, back so, now. So he zoomed Bandit Ringer to Ooh, I like call that. out the chains. That is Bandit Ringer, right? The big one I forgot to season two. Yes. There we go. Okay. Wait, one thing I is... Yes, he knows the answer. I didn't know that would be it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay one nice thing, throw. One thing Axel will do is they try to call out the tech buttons with the chains. Yeah, and you saw there that Gekio tried to bait Devo's burst, I believe. Devo turned it around, got wild thrown. So I'll break count one. That was another burst bait from Devo. Oh, nice. He didn't get him fast enough. Black beats matter too. Wow, I did not think that would hit. Nice bandit bringer. And a great conversion. Using the okay, right there and all the meter in the world. So what he did there, he ran forward and a, a lot of people would have thought, hey, he's gonna he's about to wild throw, but you saw that he did 6P instead. <laughs> he tried yeah. to call that out. But Gekio uh, stayed blocking. Yeah, I like that. I like that adaptation. He knows Gekio is looking for the wild throws. Maybe trying to uh, mash out. He's getting hit. Already in the corner. He's trying to get ice. Nice. Uh, nice Going nowhere. Okay, there. He's got the DP. Setting back to neutral. Yes, he's patient with how he does this. There we go. Oh, uh, unfortunate drop there. They're using Renson while I see to keep him at bay. Uh oh, 2D started, but he didn't do anything from there. Seems that both these players are uh, opting to stop combo short to bait some burst. Ooh, he gets the hero burst. He wants to stay in the game. And guess he was just gonna get right in his face. Yeah, he eats a counter hit 6P and that was it. I don't know if that's what he wanted. I think he's, so he's trying to jump out. And that's the problem. Yeah, Devo's unrelenting pressure is just getting... Doing him really good right now. Got some pressure. Good pressure state. Okay, he's out. Oh, nope, back in. Oh, good blitz. Alright, yeah, stay out. I wonder if he can come close right. Looks like he tried to. Again, he keeps getting caught with Bathia when he tries to jump out. Yes, he's there for that. That's why he just didn't block. Yeah. Crap. Oh, man. Devo has so much momentum riding with him right now. He definitely yes. needs to take a game or at least a round off of him to cut that short. I think he's uh, 
taking too many chances come, uh, going in on uh, Soul. Again? He needs to watch out. I don't know if he was, maybe he was trying to DP. That's how he was getting hit. Yeah, could be. He could punish the Band of Ringer with two last next time. There's a be no patient only coming in when he needs to. He's back to the corner, but he's actually doing a lot of work right now on Devo. I feel like that was a Band of Ringer instead of Wild Bro. Nice DP. Okay, I see. I think that's what he was trying to do before. Yeah, I think we see some adaptations now. He's playing a little more patiently. Nice. Ooh. He's just keep. He's not keep all out. But he he's getting pushed to the corner, but he's sort of like swinging with his back against the wall. I think that's the best way to explain it. Look at him. Wow. Yo. And there we go. Exactly what I said he needed. Alright, round start. Definitely start for a big thing, patient. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of this Rensen and 5P. Oh, called it out. And this yeah, is Bringer does so much work in this matchup. Uh, an unfortunate drop again, but... The Blitz actually put Gekyo in trouble. Alright, Devo wants to keep this pressure going. Yeah, he's unable to push Soul back, but he's not letting Soul get in. Right, I like that he uses Y, Air Dash, Y, or C to try to get out. Devo is just in his face. Uh oh. Yeah. I think in those situations like that, he should take the opportunity to get out of the corner and get some knockdown. Here we go, Stance. If you notice, he's not autopiloting stands, he's trying to make it unpredictable because he right. saw that Devo no has the answer to that. Ooh. Oh, and he tags him this time into a full combo. Can we go do to it again. again? See, he's sort of. Ooh, he's trying to guess where he's gonna go, and Devo called him out on it with Bandit Bringer. Yeah, one thing with Axel is that even though he has huge normals, a lot of them take a decent amount of time to start up. Mm -hmm. yeah, this matchup is very rock, paper, scissors, I think is the best way to explain it. And this is how, how it goes for everyone, but especially for Soul, who doesn't have that many options to get in. Ooh. Okay. Uh oh. Wild throne. Trying to go for the burst safe. Trying to go for the burst safe route, I believe. Oh, he was mashing me so hard and he still got the combo. <laughs> he went blitz and still was able. Danger time, what a mechanic. Alright, and with I that, Geki was on the board. Uh, he's awake. <laughs> I'd like to see Gekyo use a little more FD in the air. I feel like he's getting hit by a lot of things, like including Fafnir that we saw earlier that he could have just blocked. Yeah, I think I think he's trying to answer them instead of just block. Yeah, yeah that, that, that definitely could be the... Like he's trying to jump out or he's trying to DP or press a button. In some cases, it's, it's just better to block sometimes. Wow, throwing again! Exactly what he was saying earlier. Devo drops it, but still gets a counter at 6p, and Gekyo bursts in response. We saw earlier in the interview that Gekyo was afraid of getting wild thrown by him. Yeah, and he's landed at least three at this point. The shimmy! The shimmy wild throw! I respect it, so... The wild, sh the wild shimmy! <laughs> Now, Ge Gekio, he, or not Gekio, Devo, he's very simple kind of player. He's not going to be doing anything fancy. He's just going to be right in your face doing very basic things and trying to outplay you using fundamentals and footsies. That's a nice knockdown from the counter hit. Stroke again. So he, he's starting to see that Devo only answered it once. Again, I feel like that was definitely Bandit Bringer. You don't want a wild throw from that far away. Uh -oh. That was a really good response. Even I beat the DP. Yeah, he's getting zoned out right now. Oh, oh yep, yeah, some YRC. Good call out. 
You're really close. He messed up there. He should have just gotten back. Nice counter blitz. Safe jump down yeah, thrown, yeah. and this should be it. Yeah, that was pretty much burst safe. Up until the end there. I guess he could have bursted, but it wouldn't have been yeah, a great position. Yeah, it's better to keep your, your bursts in the count. There we go. A little too far to combo. He really likes to do 5P into Sparrowhawk. I guess maybe uh, he knows that Devo is thinking that he's going to do another another move in the string. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a very good time to do it, because you they're sort of blocking or stacking something else, and you go right into stance and try to answer. Devo opens right. up with an empty jump low. Immediate burst. Go burst out. Like you were saying earlier, Devo is using wire C to get in. So it slows his moves down and he keeps his momentum from the dash going forward. Not sure why he didn't go for the DP ender there. Ooh. With Wilder, that is bad. Luckily he FD and stayed in blocks then. If he, if he didn't block normally, then he would have gotten wild thrown. Alright, back to neutral, back to mid-screen. Uh oh, this risk. Alright, he has to FD out of this. Yeah, the next hit definitely could kill. Oh! Oh! oh. No punish at the way first. It? Oh, wow. Ben Tenzama. Him with the woman in red. Is 2 2? So far looking like we predicted. Yeah. Close set. Let's go. So the wild throw count is at like 3 or something now? I'm gonna say 3. I wanna say 4 or 5. Yeah, you can turn. Right, there is there are two hits to JH. So you have to watch out for it. He played the DP and got blown up for I wanna say that he actually tried to throw a West there, but the throw didn't come out too far away. Oh nice wire like that. Uh, now he's got to do the corner. Ooh, that was... Caught him flinching. And that's up for that round. Yeah, he's looking a lot better. Now he has his momentum. <laughs> Round start run up, man. He knows he likes to play the passive at the beginning. There is risk. It doesn't matter. I would say get out of there. But... This is gonna be some big damage. Oh my god. That was from JP. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that burst. Actually, yeah, I do know. That burst is good. So he lost his momentum. He gets to keep going. Would've been an interesting route there. Ooh, but then he eats a counter at Fafnir. This... I don't think he's dead yet, but he's gonna be close. Yeah, OTG that right? Yeah, he did a little too early. He wanted the wild throw. You saw that. <laughs> Nice block. Still. Oh, and an amazing call out from Devo right there. We've seen the starter a few times already. Ooh, wild throw again. Oh! First! Oh, give it back. Give me first back. Now, this is, this is what happens. Whenever people get their burst taken, they get so aggressive to get the comeback, you're gonna see Becky O just go absolutely ham on him. Oh, look at that. You see, you see what I'm saying? He's not even gonna zone him anymore. He wants to get in his yeah. face, take his soul back. Everyone loses their patience when they get their burst taken. Yeah, just a little too far there. For the full screen game now. Yeah, he evened it up a lot. They were about to get his burst back. Will he be able to use it though? That was close. Oh wow, that was 
you can run it back. Okay, I gotta see that was a nice bird. Oh, he bet it all. just desperate, trying to run in. He bet it all there. Alright, and now Gekyo, who is down, is up. Will he play it more passively? I think he chose to jump. Oh, oh, he was a fortunate burst. He wasn't able to punish the bad burst. Good DP. Yeah, I like that he uses DP to punish bad burst. Yeah, Devo likes to use uh, double Fafnir. Good call out on the Bandit Bringer, but wasn't able to be heard. Devo saw that he was air dashing in after the Sparrow Hawk, so he ran up and actually was closer to Axel when he air dashed in. That allowed him to get this pressure here. Nice combo. Now he gets the knockdown and jumps in more. You saw he, he kind of got there, but he didn't do it again. This is where it gets difficult, because now he gets pushed back and he's not going to get back in. So it doesn't matter how much of the health beat he has. Yeah. Oh, this time it works, but wasn't able to convert off the 5k. Nice. Him with the TP. Oh, maybe recognize that it wasn't going to be a combo. Yeah, when you can Bandit Bringer, nice. yeah, that's right. you can low profile Bandit Bringer. Yeah, Axel 2k low profile is a lot of it. Rents and YRC and uh, Wastering. Both Bandit Bringer and Bandit Revolver can be low profile by certain moves. Oh, you see Wastering is going for the grab there. Alright, it's so good. Wow, I like that. Getting strong the whole round. Yeah, both players use, making good use of uh, air dash YRC in this set. Watch out for a good starter. Again, after a fast here, he has to just chill. He will get blown up as we Well, we see a burst. Look at this trade. That's a good one. Oh! I recognized he was negative there. Ooh. Not sure if he meant to OTG there. Oh, that's a nice combo. Again! Oh no, he dropped it. And he's gonna cost him. Oh. Yeah. That's YRC air throw is so cheap. Sway, I think your mic is a little low. Alright, rounds are DP. You haven't seen that since the beginning. And that low profile goes straight under 5k. I'm gonna be doing 5k into stance. Like, see, there we go, he's not pushing forward, and I like that he's doing, he's trying to look for power moves now. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not rushing in as much now. I think it's been working out a lot, as we can see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's well, trying to air dash YRC. Yeah, did the YRC just a little too early. Oh, oh that, is, that is a heartbreaker. I know he wanted it. There's still a little bit of mountain to climb after he got it, though. Yeah, that's he's again. Oh, they both You have to watch out. He did it a little too late. Got him 
Nice. There you go. It worked out for him in his favor. Yeah, that was not going to, but the YRC helped him. Thank you. I think he was going to go for the safe jump. Oh, oh, nice reset. Oh, and he's blocking. He knew. How did he punish? Yeah. That's really hard to punish. You have to IB the first part and then jump up. There we go. Jumps him out of the corner. He's got Devo in the corner now. Oh no. An automatic burst the punish. GG. There you go. Yeah, just you are just in case he bursted. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. You just won. Like, you don't need that meter. Again, Five run up. 5k. You saw he was trying to grab the air for the wild throw made that into a gold burst. He wasted all the energy immediately. Yeah, the purple RC to uh, make him safe, and then the red RC, I'm not sure. It was already going to be an overhead, and he RC'd and made it a, another overhead. Well, Gekio was not trying to give him any momentum. I think he was always here, but it didn't seem like it worked out. He was dead. Yes. After a few drop dust loops, or the Fafnir after, then uh, got a good got a good combo there. Nice. Super QD. 2D is a very good starter, but we missed the IE confirm. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Oh. The trade was worth it. See, he's able to get back in, but he's baiting the burst a little too much. Yeah, both that's players are baiting the starter quite a bit. That was a very good starter. Yeah, that was a good spot to burst, though. Thank you. Playing super massive now. He's being kept back. Now like, goes into space from the same room. So he wanted a seed and then sort of hesitated and he was forced to just waste the lead. Wow, Gekio's gotten a lot better at calling out Fafnir with DP. Just jumps right over the 2D. There we go. Oh man, and a triple hit overhead. Gekio looking super clean in that round. Double Fafnir. It's called out. I think you can't, you can't keep going 2 h 6 h That's a classic axel. And so immediately Gabriel has an answer to that. He dropped the combo and was able to pick it back up with the grab. The 2 has to call out Axel's 2k. Oh, and I like that he wires in the path here. Yeah, it, it, it eats inputs, so... It definitely messed up the end of the GP. Yeah, so that's one thing a lot of people don't do. I do it a lot. Is when you think they're going to DP, you wire C to eat their input, and then they, they're just sitting there. They're standing there or pressing or something. Some people get more frustrated when they see that too, and then they try to mash out an input. Mm -hmm. So here, oh, a nice block in the overhead, but unfortunately that 2D whiffed. And, and it, it whiffed help. because he FD'd it. Yeah, that was actually unfortunate. Might have just normal blocks. It might have been, might have still connected. So so far it's four four. Right? Double Saffir. Double Saffir is really good at catching back dashes. Because some people do back dashes after after blocking back here. Gets caught by the follow up. Oh, nice. I like that response. Oh, and the cross up JK. The classic. <laughs> 2SRC run up wild throw, I like it. And again, I'll burst it on the gun flame. He's just, at this point he's just running forward. I noticed that Gekio likes to do stance and go for the high the high button first. Yeah, I guess he's afraid of Devo coming in and jumping out or air dashing. Yeah. Devo hasn't called it out once going, he's running forward going low. 
Yeah, he normally blocks the first the first or second hit. At that point, unfortunately, you're getting, getting knocked back. Yeah, this is Dave's walking. He's waiting for the half here to DP. Yep. Good 5k at the end. Kind of glad that's getting nerfed, but we'll see. Six P, does that work? I guess you try it. Oh, and he ran into the first half this time. Missed the ID. Missed the ID from him again. Double wire C, but unfortunately, Devo ended up in a terrible position. Perfect and now with no meter. Yeah, this is the time you want to have meters. There we go. 2G point blank, just going straight under all of them. And now this big starter. Unfortunately, no knockdown. Oh, that's it. It's going to be very tough to get back from. Oh, oh, he got around it. Uh, this time, Gekio going low and he jumped up. So every other time, he, he started high and they didn't, uh, they didn't do anything. This time, he yeah. went low and they would jump. Ooh, uh, the back dash was doing the double attack. Yeah. Now, Gekio knows it's on the table. Got the, got the ID this time, but unable to land the break. Oh, jeez. Saves the drop. One for a burst save for out. 40 at burst, but... The player is sitting with burst at the end. Genki has got to use it now if he needs to. Yep. He wasn't able to, he went for DP instead. Five four. Remember I said 7-5? Seven, 7-5, five? Seven, five. that was the prediction. It looks like... It it could, it could still be either one. Yeah, honestly. But it's still pretty close to what we're saying. Yeah, this is a great set. Oh. Oh, you know what I haven't seen him do? I haven't seen Gekio go for the counter at round start. Oh, there's a lot of like to do. I don't know, it's up to your playstyle. Maybe he just doesn't want to do that. Maybe he's more comfortable using 2k to call it out or something. Oh, wow. I didn't know that while you're seeing that, how's you to fall down straight where you were? Oh, no. He, he messed up. Oh, he probably he thought he was still going to be in the air. Both players with almost no burst. Wow, nice throw break. Now the wire C helped him get that run up. There we go. Alright, you have to watch out. BP. Oh, caught him flinching. That's his chance. Nice knockdown. Oh, and the OTG. Barely made it. Barely. Alright, this time he's playing patient. Wild throw. It's a black beat, but it's okay. Got the corner. You saw he, he went back to pick the DP, and as soon as he came forward, get the DP. <laughs> yeah. So that feels a win. He's changing his timing. Again, trying to beat the burst, and he, he didn't even have it. I think that time he was trying to catch the tech throw. He messed up his combo, and he, he just went for tech throw. Alright. That's something you see a lot. Wow, and just like that, Gekyo is back in it. Yeah, he's trying to keep him away, but he might be it. He has all the meter. He can keep him away. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that was, like, that was also scary. I think he tried to jump FD, but he ran out of meter. Yeah. Unfortunately. You saw the flash, and by the time he hit the flash, was gone. Ooh. Will we see a burst? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Three frame punish. That is it. He dropped that again. Almost. Good blocks. Uh, that was a very good block. Awesome. That's what is most confusing. When you think that move's gonna cross up and it doesn't, 
Yeah, because you can see his character model in Swift Sides. Yeah. Alright, he's in the corner now. Oh, there we go. He's air dash out. That's probably gonna be it, yep. 6 4 Devo. So, Devo sitting on set point. Will he run up again? Okay, I'm still patient, boys. Nice. Jumping a little too much there. Ooh. Nice use of Fafnir YRC. Trying to call out Gekyo's uh, anti Fafnir. And there's a little bit of trade of the DP. But I guess you kind of have to play, play around it. You don't nice. wanna, once you get in, you don't want to get knocked all the way back. Absolutely. Let's get an empty air dash throw. Uh, now back to neutral mid screen. So we're seeing a lot from Devo. He keeps running forward to sort of catch, catch him exactly like that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked to see that go into DP into a knockdown. <laughs> and the call out. That was great. So entering the chains would benefit him. That was a little scary of a spot to burst, honestly. After Fafnir is a little, a little dubious. Again! You cannot flex buttons. Yeah, no, Jump S on Axel has a huge hurtbox on it. Well, you have to watch out for that. They was calling them all out. <laughs> nice! Oh, wow, bro. I love that he's very inconspicuous about it. Like, he'll just start comboing you, then stop to do it. That is burst safe. Yeah. Or not burst safe, safe jump, my fault. Like, be patient. Uh, caught him. Caught him trying to 5k that time. Oh, nice wait on the DP, but Gekyo gets the burst out. Oh, he ran out of meter. Trying to keep himself safe. Oh, oh yeah, just yeah. the very end. Oh, DP. Oh, I like using that to get out instead of DP because he's beating the DP. Yeah, that was super ballsy, though. <laughs> oh, this is a game of rock over the days. Gekyo just plays patient, you might be able to take this and the throw, nice! We got scoops! He now fought far slash. Gekyo's just jumping around. Oh, and he got around it, that's big! Now he did gunflame that he thought it, he thought it was counter hit, so counter hit 2D gunflame works. There, the upper Sparrowhawk hit worked out for Gekyo there, catching him out of Bandit right here, but... Oh, find ourselves in the corner again. He got the combo twice. Again, I think he's missing IED. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No punish. Sometimes, I see he just wires these, I'm curious what he's looking for. Both players with very low meter, but they go finding a hit. This is knockdown. Nice. Safe jump and that is it. Mm -hmm. He may have been trying to super. He didn't have the meter for it. I feel like he might have just tried to DP but missed the timing. Because he wasn't he wasn't blocking. So before we start the next match, um, I'm gonna mess with sound settings real quick. Alright, okay. sounds good. But great stuff to Devo and Gekio. That was an awesome set. Great to see lots of adaptation from both. Exactly. We started out with Devo having a lot of momentum and then Gekio adapting and moving, changing the way he was playing in order to deal with Devo's playstyle. But then we saw you saw Devo adapt right back and sort of learn to match up as he goes.
Yeah, I really like the use of, uh, of both Air Dash YRC from both players, and then I also really liked how Devo used Fafnir YRC after he started getting his Fafnirs punished with DP. And in the second half of the set, like you, I mean, I saw most of the Fafnirs connect. So, I mean, whether it be to him stopping it early and then doing another one, or him, uh, yeah, I guess just the way uh, his timings for the Fafnir has definitely changed, and it helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw his, he was getting DP'd every time after Fafnir, so we Fafnir, backdash, Fafnir again. Yep, changing it up. In order to blow it up. Yeah. Fafnir I mean... counter hit is, is beasts. <laughs> Actually, a lot of Souls moves on counter hit, pretty beast. So... Gotta, gotta agree with that. Yeah, Banderbringer giving you another Banderbringer. It's pretty big, uh, pretty big damage from mid screen, and you also get corner carry from most of that. Mm -hmm. But I, I do gotta say that after or while watching the set, I felt like both players with some of the drops that they saw and just maybe like a little bit of connection issue on my side. I feel like it may not be totally their fault, but I mean they could be nervous. Yeah. I feel like a little bit of it might have been due to connection. Um, but still, regardless, great set from both of them. Um, they both had to deal with the same problems and. Uh, yeah, Devo came out on top. Yeah, good stuff. So it's Patty's day. The green soul. <laughs> all I right, all right, man. All right, man. I, I hope Go Under Minus don't pick a green color because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off. So Super TSB is tomorrow and Saturday. And you can just follow these steps to add to the pot without actually having to pay anything. You just add a dollar. Those dollars will be lots of dollar pizzas, and you know, hopefully New York comes through. This is this is the East Coast defending its home. It's it's Mecca. Um, it's gonna be really exciting. A ton of players out of state are coming in, and all the new New York players are coming out to defend. It's gonna be a real good time. Both both Blaze Blue and Guilty here hosted on TSD Blaze. So look forward to that. Yeah, shout outs to Manny for hosting it, putting most of it together, setting up the exhibitions and everything. So click on that. It, it doesn't take anything but like 30 seconds. Just log on, just hit the donate button, and you're pretty much good to go after you enter in the code. Tomorrow's exhibition start at 7, and TSB on Saturday starts at 12, right at noon. So be there. Um, if you can't make it, join in and watch. Go on Match Arena, share. Yeah, I'm probably waking up. It's like 9 a.m. for me, but I'll wake up, watch the stream. Bring the hype. Also, watch me destroy everyone. They're about oh, to yeah. do a button <laughs> check just to make sure the audio is fine when a match is actually going. In the meantime, we have one piece of fan art. Sway, so, uh, I don't see you in the room yet. Oh, you guys posted the room up. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, so, yeah, we have this art by PK Lucas of Minus, you know? He didn't get to do Doran in time, but still really cool. Awesome! I love it! But, um, for the people watching, tell me if it sounds fine, or you guys talk, actually. Yeah, um, well I guess, yeah, just mention anything in the audio, guys, if you hear anything or, uh, don't hear anything. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited, we got a bunch of... Got some good sets coming. So, like they were saying earlier, when was the last time these guys have played in the tournament? If you recall, it was final round? Not this year. Last year, I believe. Yeah, yeah, these two don't play each other that often, but you both, I mean, you hear both of their names in the GG community. A whole lot. Both of them pretty much the, the I guess, how, how do I put it? I'd almost venture they're to the, say that these the two are the best. Their characters. Yeah, the in the US. Mm -hmm. So when you think Dorn, you think Jan. When you think Minus, you think Eno. It's, yeah. it's not, not any other way around. Um, both, of these, both of these players have been playing this game for so long. Been in the community since like early 2007, like both of them, I think. I think that was yeah. the first time they met actually in tournament ever. I joke with Chaz saying that he would play, he would money match. Cleopatra back in Egyptian times. Um, he found the Fountain of Youth. Both of these players found the Fountain of Youth with Guilty Gear. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. So last time they did play a set, which was important, um, Dorn was still using Elf Felt. So that was that was a thing for a while. Shoddy Elf Felt. 
j the, he was using Jan with a shotgun. That's, that's how we got to <laughs> it. So, um, in, in the meantime, um, Manny literally just asked me to promote the exhibition for tomorrow, which is fine with me, but <laughs> I didn't oh, have the image until now. So, last second ad, we got. Boy I have stream audio coming through my phone. Oops. Um, but we have Blaze vs. Doran tomorrow night. He, do he doesn't have a time, but. Attack on Reusion. Yeah. So. No matter who wins here, if Minus loses, then Blaze is gonna avenge his friend. And if Doran win or if Doran loses, then he gets another chance at fighting TSV. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a definitely. Yeah, if you're tuning in here, definitely want to tune in tomorrow and watch that. Do also, Doran that poster is sick. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jam just flying across. Blaze of fire all over the floor with Watch Raven out. with full excitement at the bottom. Alright, they're gonna get it going now. Alright, round attempt number two. This is for real now. I Button hope someone kind of clips over. that. Button checks are over. It's time. Yeah, I do like how both their their costume colors are actually they're actually kind of similar in a certain way. They both got the, the the black and the little bit of gold and like yeah. a little bit of red going on. Maybe it's an indication of how similar these players are. Maybe not. I don't know. I do think they play a little bit similarly. I don't yeah. think he's gonna do round start six H again. Yeah, this time they actually both backed off a little bit. Nice block. Oh, Make nice bait on the DP. That's the right way to do it, yeah. since Jam can so, actually special cancel her DP. So what Chaz was saying, he's doing... He researched how to beat, for example, Puffball 6 8 Chaz. Um, he knows he's going to be dealing with a lot of that, so he's just going to go ultimate ham, keep all the momentum. Yeah. What a beast. And that was one JD that that combo started off of, so one JD, no reunions yet. JD's a very good starter. On right, this note, Dorn is knocked down now. He's forced to block the note again. Right again. Ooh, I like that. Stroke to be free under six H. Go under six H. He dropped the combo, unfortunately. And Dorn got caught back dashing, and he got hit. That's the thing. People always say don't tech for Sino. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you will get blown up. Yeah. Oh, danger time, and this is he didn't looking like a wrap. Oh, Dorn tried to wire C there, so he messed up. A little oh, bit this is his chance. Now, Dorn is very good at the comeback. The chest is so smart. That is that is matchup knowledge. So between two HS, with the two, the two hits that she does coming under, you were able to IB the first hit and then backdash out of it and punish. Yeah, that was really good from Chaz. And then so he also did stroke the big tree in case he did 6H too. You can tell Chaz plays this matchup a lot. <laughs> Actually, I think Chaz said that he hadn't really played it too much. He did, he was just going to study it. But he definitely did his homework. There we go. Chaz will try to grab you out of that every single time. It's just like he has an answer to puff ball. Dorn. Oh, he was blocked by Dorn. Yeah. That was pretty impressive to block for that long. His defense has been kind of wild. Oh, that was tricky. I would have gotten hit. But yeah, with that, uh, what you were talking about, that 3 frame 5p, he mashed out. Yeah, very good when they do, for example, JK, JH, and they go into 5b, you're able to 5p that. So that's actually two JDs that Dorn has blocked in a row, so maybe next time Chaz will just go low. Oh, that was a nice backdash. Alright, using YRC is going to get out. Dorn being real patient. Despite moving a lot, he is being very patient. Yeah, got a little... Got a little antsy there. Attacking the backdash okay. is good. Yeah, this is gonna be some decent damage. And then, oh, <laughs> just... <laughs> just dives to the other side of the that, screen. That's the classic, you know, it's very hard to deal with that. The Noah special. Okay, dead angles out. He's got he's How got reason on deck. Okay. Confirm? Oh, okay. He uses it to get a knockdown. Uh, but it still worked out in his favor. Yeah. 
If you would have done eight cup ball there, it would have worked out. I wonder if Chaz was expecting maybe like IAD DP or something, or maybe Geku Rin. Oh, it did go low there. Tried to go under the burst to stroke the big tree. So Dorn, you think, you think YRC to bait out Chaz's options? Oh, and it went low, and that is, that's an ankle breaker. He thought he had the block and he went for a grab instead. Chaz up 2-0. Yeah, the Eno classic, whiffing the JH and then landing and throwing or landing and going low. Yeah, so that's one thing Doran was worried about. He, so, Doran thinks the matchup is even. Chaz thinks Eno wins a little bit. Um, it really is... Both of these characters are whoever gets the momentum first. Yeah, both that's of these really are definitely very momentum-based characters. Like, Jam needs card to get anything going. And Edo needs a knockdown. That was a nice block, but also a nice block on the burst from Doran. Alright, Chaz had the right idea there. Yeah, but yeah, Doran was able to escape. Yeah, keep him nice there. pressure. Gets a knockdown and another car. It's a really good spot for Doran. If you see right after Puffball, he did parry. That's just in case he blocks it and tries to go for something else. I like that. Missed the mix-up, but got the got the throw after the scramble. Oh, I is it gonna don't be okay? Know. Okay. Oh, it worked out. He's gonna fusion. Can I say it <laughs> with an empty jump low? I like Lord. it. So We're if I'm counting correctly, we got two JDs and one reusion. As Doran likes to put it, Reusion straight to the face. Alright, so when, when he does J2K and it's one hit, it is plus. Nice catch on the back dash. I'm not sure what he was trying to bait there with the 5HS OQ. Yeah, but HCL is a pretty good reversal. TK HCL. Oh, he tried to cross them up. Wow, all these instant blocks from Chaz. Yeah, he keeps Finally. doing his slide through to beat. Uh, burst. Yeah, finally got opened up by the throw. This is looking like Doran's round to lose. Win. That should be it, yep. Or Doran getting on board. At 2 1. Now let's see how, how these matches go. Both of these players have a lot, ton of experience playing. Um, so they'll definitely be able to adapt. So we're going to see the game get more interesting as the matches go on. They're gonna start countering each other's counters. That, that's what it's saying. Yeah, Chaz playing a little more zoning now. <laughs> nice. Nice approach made from Doran. Uh, you see Chaz is doing 6P every time Doran goes. Oh no, but Doran puts himself in the corner. Every time every time Doran goes for the puff ball, Chaz tries to beat it with Ooh. Yeah, that would have been corner knockdown, card, bad. Brain trap. <laughs> Doran's like, I got tech throws too. Oh, he messed that up. Wow, JH. Good war, see. Chaz was saying earlier. Chaz's air to air is like some of the best in the game. Like, her normals are just so well suited for being in the air. Mm -hmm. Chaz was saying one of the things he's most afraid of from Dorman is his really offensive pressure. Finds a confirm in the corner now. Ooh. Good, good block on the dust. So Jan, oh, I like her, that. Pressure, her pressure involves a lot of frame traps. So if you see... Ooh, cut the back dash there. If you oh. see him go specifically That was really for smart like, from Chaz. You see Dorman go specifically for like 5k into 6hs or something like that. Those are all frame traps. That was huge damage off the max reusion card. Wow, that was so smart! The reusion YRC and he uh -oh. could use throw to bit tree to get under it. He's lucky that wasn't counter hit. Yeah, yeah, oh, the he trade. Took the tree to get out of the corner. I think that was maybe 2D with 2S. Just having to work out for Chaz there. Wow, and he backdashed the, the dive, got a full punish card. Dorn messed up there. And Chaz didn't punish the, uh, the follow up to Perry.
Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, boy, does it. he land it? Wow, and a yeah, perfect! Don't coming back really strong. Yeah, evening up real fast. Chaz definitely taking his time to think a little bit. Now both of these players are going to be at Super TSD, so it's not unlikely that they might run into it. I feel like they're going to run it back, regardless of who wins. Alright, charging the Ryujin card first. I forgot that. Knockdown now? Okay. Which has not really able to get any momentum going. You see, he's only able to pick at Doran from a distance. He has yeah, to get Nino's got really good tools to, to pick at to pick at Jam like from far away. Uh oh, here's a combo. Nice. Uh oh. I like the little air shimmy there. Oh, and Doran escapes with a super jump air dash. Oh, I think he was trying to bait out an anti-air there from the Ryujin YRC. Uh, and finally the JD. That's gonna be it for round one. Good stuff from Chaz. Yeah, playing a little more patiently I feel like now. Again, a great block on the cross of Geku Rin. He tried to grab him there, but he was able to. Right. You have good pressure. Chaz sort of taking a lot of the pressure, which is kind of what Eno has to do. She doesn't have very good reversals or very good buttons. If you right there, he pressure. wasn't going to eat the cross up again. He just 5 p him out, and now he has a corner and a knockdown, which is all Eno needs. Alright, he has Ryujin on deck. He's not going to toss it out like crazy. He, he likes to Probably use it sort of as a DP, like a sideways DP while getting pressure. Sometimes it's just as scary just to have it. Mm -hmm. And of course, those combos, those region combos are very easy. <laughs> you know? And a stun! Is this gonna be it? Oh no. No, he should have OTD twice. This. Oh. You know, is not the character you wanna let rock. Now, that's something Chaz, if you noticed earlier when he knocked him down, he normally goes low or puts the note on top of him because of wake up parry. Yeah, again, the parry from Jam is a really good tool, but it actually cannot parry lows. It loses the grabs as well. Nice little side switch from Doran there. Okay, good burst to keep Doran from getting a card. You see, Doran likes to do cross of JH every opportunity he gets. If you're able to confirm that on counter hit with far slash, he's uh -oh. Let's see how it's gonna go. And Ooh. 6 HS, Doran taking the lead. Still really, really close. What's Chaz gonna do about this? <laughs> D-Nice in the chat going off on Chaz. <laughs> you guys can have a look at the chat at the the Chaz quote. I won't say it on stream, but <laughs> <laughs> both of these players, you know, they, they feel themselves a little bit. They feel pretty confident about this matchup. Oh, I didn't know that uh Stroke's victory wouldn't go under Puffball. Oh, knockdown. I think it does go under Puffball, but. The Jam Classic. Right, Chaz got the knockdown. I feel like Chaz yeah, is a little bit mad right now. Yeah, so what he was trying to do... Yeah, so Dorn is like one of the only ones that does this. He will... He will jump install his, uh, his regions. So he's able to jump after he RCs it. Didn't even need it there, damn. Let's just talk about how nice that was of a parry after the block super. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He wasn't able to get anything from it. There we it's go. Still, it's still allowed on the jump away though. <laughs> and a double stagger. Nice YRC to prevent him from getting the pop ball out. That's really scary from Jam. Uh, he got the corner. What's it gonna be? Oh. Neutral jump out, right. falling down, jump all H. The all this risk, that is not where you want to be. Full risk bar. It was a six hit combo and it did like 40%. Chaz 
Chaz. One of, the, one of Chaz's greatest attributes is that he's able to confirm anything. For you know. So I like the, that. The longer these matches go, the more comfortable he's gonna get. I agree. Uh, just out of range to punish the car charge. You see, he's been punishing almost every 6H. You want to have to be real careful, and I love this confirm. Oh, all the time. that was sick! Look how crisp he is! He beat the burst uh, Trying to backdash the, the burst. A cheeky there. <laughs> wow! I thought somebody was going to get hit. Full screen dive still works, and done. that might be it. Wow, Chaz evening up Three right back up. Let him know, Chaz. Damn, this is a nice set. Where's it gonna go from here? <laughs> I like how Ina's insulting Jam on her voice. <laughs> Monster Gekuren. Oh, you gotta watch frame out for that trap. Frame trap. No one needs to watch out for that. Getting blown up. Oh, that's kind of confusing. He just like stood there for a second. Yeah. So I like something a lot of players do. They use wire seed and that's something both of these players have been doing a lot the whole match. Uh oh, that is a frame trap. A little too far for the JD. Nice walk. Unable to punish, but yeah. Taking advantage of the scramble. So, one thing I would say about Dorn is he's very good at scrambles. He is. He's looking for them, so he will usually come out on top for them. I mean, depending on the character, but in this in this matchup, this is definitely what he's looking for. He's looking to yeah. get in. He's looking to get in Eno's face and call scrambles and blow her face off with reason. Just every time. <laughs> I know! <laughs> He's like, I know, I see the card. I don't want it. I don't want any of this. Ooh, what? nice cross up. Chaz with his own cross up. Oh, and another oh, one! Hop. That is without burst only. The door was looking for it that time. Ah, uh, unfortunately, the anti air 5H unable to convert. <laughs> Oh, round start puff ball. Yeah, so round start puff ball is really good if they jump. You cross up under them, kind of confuses people. Alright, quick burst from Chad. Oh, with the far S RC, and he's kind of back in the same position. There you go. Ooh, you gotta be aware of that. Yeah, he's blocked it earlier, but. You, start crushing you. you gotta watch out. Chad's on the ropes here. Frank Chad. He was just this one way to start. He thought Chaz was going to land and grab. Where are you going? In the corner. Chaz, Chaz just keeps resetting, trying to keep this burst safe. Oh, oh that would have definitely grabbed the burst. Oh, I know he wanted it. Ryujin, where's he going to go? Watch out! He's trying to grab it. What is this? What is oh, this? Oh. oh my god, not like this. Chaz about to bring it all the way back. Oh! What was that? Wow. The man that was so beast. 2%. Chas just reunioned himself. He did the head first for you. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I don't what even know was what that? to say. I, see, I know Doran's like, I don't know what is that. <laughs> yeah, Doran's got to be I don't know what that is. That was an incredible round from Chaz. With both of these players giving it their all. Ooh. Sniffed out the low or the throw. Doran trying to do cross of J um H region on them. Yeah. Nice! Nice stroke to victory to get under 6H. This is something I don't see very often. Is people punishing the 6HS. They normally try to punish the puff ball or what comes after 6HS. But Chaz slipping under every single time. And you know after that round, he has momentum going on. Oh yeah. He used his burst, but I mean, he's got the corner now. And <laughs> blocked the dead angle. All Doran's got is a burst now. Oh, that was a high beat. Block. 
Yeah, again, using that 3 frame 5p. Uh oh, he oh. messed that up. Yeah, I know he wanted the overhead there. Oh! Yeah, that's the classic. That's the classic. You can't verse that. I see that. that all the time. You just can't. He was gonna be able to combo off of that too. Mm hmm. Well, normally people try to jump out of the note, so it just happens anyway. He did like six moves in the air and then hit him with, hit him with that. This is a pretty bad position for Doran. He is. He might have to hold out a little longer if he wants to get a burst back. Good block in the dust. Doran's out. Oh, just kidding. He does have his burst back, but one hit and a dream. Ooh, Ryujin! Nice, nice. Good from Chaz to call out the puffball. Oh man, Chaz turned it around. First, first he was down, and now, now he's up five three. Will Doran get a little more aggressive, or is he gonna play a little more passive against Pat Chaz now? I like that. The air dash back after he saw that Chaz was blocking and stuff. And what he does there with the vertical coming from above is he's baiting out the DP. So you see Doran gets counter hit to try to DP. When he, do when he does vertical coming from above on the DP. Oh, and caught him out of the dive. Some decent damage. Alright, using S puff ball to sort of space him out. Yeah, he's using. Oh, super! Amazing call out right there. Said, I don't care what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna blow it up. Oh, right, I know was, Dorn. Dorn. Dorn was trying to catch the back dash with that. Yeah, I, I think he just timed it a little too early, though. Oh, Gekker is sending him the opposite direction. He's losing his knockdown. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that is it. I he knew messed it. up the combo. Oh, this could be it. Do not burst. He wants this round. Oh! That, so yeah, you oh, wow. low profile. Yeah, you low profile. I, with I'm not ball. gonna lie, I honestly thought Doran, Doran got hit there. Nice. I did too. <laughs> but he, he timed it just right. There we go. I feel like Doran was trying to grab the burst there. Yeah. He, he OS's it. Yeah, wants that card pressure. Good block from Chaz. Now it's his turn. That is a punish. So, that was unfortunate. He got off a max charge card right in front of yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. It looked like he was trying to de or trying to wire C it, by or just in case. But he didn't have any meter. When you try to wire C, but he's going. It's like the worst tech error to happen. Cross up. That was brave. Really smart wire to see from Doran, and that grab cinched it. Hopefully, killing his momentum. Let's see how this is going. Doran does not take any time between matches. He's just going in. Yeah, like, let's go, let's go. Doran is trying to get get in games at all times, as you see during real corporate hours. Alright, Doran evening up the gap. 5-4. 5-4 Chaz. Oh, interesting. Dash is sort of walking. Oh, this time he does yeah. catch the back dash. So I didn't believe in that. I used to do 6k every single time, but Doran's like, no, close to Ash is the truth. That's what you gotta do. And the reason yeah. he does that is because he's able to get the parry punch kick combo afterwards. Nice, I didn't know that. Oh, and this super. Jump? Oh, I no, but this super is like pretty much instant. If you're close, you like you, you got hit. Chaz has all his meter. Man, I guess Chaz tried to press a button when he landed. <laughs> what a region, but he dropped it. He saw that Chaz was too far away and said, I'm Fuck not taking you. this. 
So one of the things that's going to get fixed in the next game is Ryujin will send them more horizontal the other way, which in that case, it would have been a lot better for Doran. And again, God. he is, his success rate with those is too good. Oh, but Chaz, in response, one of Doran's biggest hated things that he said about the Uno matchup was JD. So, if you saw there, when Doran bursted, Chaz did stroke the big tree, that was actually a burst bait. A little bit longer, or if Doran bursted a little bit earlier, the stroke the big tree would have gone under. Yeah, I think he actually bursted a little bit later, but yeah, he tried to go under it. He's using it a pretty liberally in neutral now, uh, Stroke the Big Tree. I wonder if he's trying to call out 6H. Wow, what an amazing air grab. Dude, he wants to call out Puffball. Or 6H. Most of those. Just like that. There we go. Okay. Man, I love I when people it. do exactly what we're talking about. Nice 6P. That's blocking Good that. Box. That is. Because of the flames, it's hard to see exactly when it ends. Or man, when it's okay to press buttons. Man, just a oh, little God. bit of risk, and that dragon kick did so much damage. Alright, tied up again at 5-5. Five, five. Wow, this really down to the wire. I want to see this go to the last game. Exactly what I want to see. Both of these players, they're 1-1 one, one in sets. Ooh, so this is a tiebreaker. At final round, first set, Chaz sent Dorn to losers, and then in top eight, Dorn beat Chaz. This was Elfo. Cool. Yeah, Chaz is out for some blood then. Ooh, and the counter hit Puffball. Chaz opting not to burst there. He normally does, but I figured Dorn would bait it. In fact, Dorn actually bursts. Didn't want to be sent back into the corner. He wants to keep all his momentum. Now, why do you think he did that, like, super jump height 2K, uh, J2K down? I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Most likely, he just wanted to move. But that puff ball earlier was able to do a lot of stun. Yeah. First, or not first, like, safe jump. Get back in the corner. How are you going to deal with this? Ooh, nice jump out. His toes! Oh, he's no. looking for JD too hard! Which way is he gonna go? Doran thought he had time to jump out. Again, and that actually would have caught the, the jump out. If he if he had been able to successfully jump, Chaz probably would have grabbed it. Mm. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Worst, that's the worst I, I thing. Feel for, I feel for every single jam player when I see that. Cross up. One thing Doran's really good at is when they cross up, he, he, he's able to get a 6P out. I like that. Using the, the little FD top to do a, actually a fake cross up. Zoran was aware of it though. Nice! Is he gonna reuse it? That was scary. You saw Chaz jumping. I think he wanted to grab it. Alright, you got a knockdown. Wow, meaty. Chaz, I think. Maybe trying to backdash. Ooh, Ooh yeah, Doran saves himself. Had to mirror there. Wow, Good great. You gotta watch block. out with that. If you if you insta block or just block, um, Chaz J H, she's, she's not able to do anything until she lands. Ah, uh, Chaz one match away from winning this. Man, is he gonna is he gonna defend New York? Yeah, that was kind of convincing. But I mean, we've seen Doran adjust pretty well in the previous matches, so. We'll see what he does for this potentially last game. And now, I know both of these players, and I'll be honest, when Doran is about to lose, that's, that's when he goes ham. Like you, you thought Doran was playing ham before? Alright, let's see it. He, he does not like to lose. Ooh, Chaz stuffs Chaz out the Chaz halt that momentum. Uh, yeah, I like how Doran actually dashed forward and then air dash back. Chaz catching the back dash with that. Chaz wanted the tech grab there. Look for max fusion. I'm just waiting well, for that fusion. to just hit him in the face. Not talk about. This one does so much better if he just combos into it. 
especially on Uno, she's that that kind of weight where it's really easy to combo. Don't uh, got him. Door with the blocks. Ooh, that frame trap. But I would have opted to just dead angle out. I mean, he was smart. He blocked. He saved his meter. Yeah, I feel like Eno was a little bit far at that point. And there's the dead angle. And now we're going to see the Ryujin. At, well, I'm surprised they, he didn't use it to at least get the knockdown. There it is. No! That would have been a shot. <laughs> Catches the backdash! <laughs> Whatcha? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is active for a bajillion frames. Going full screen. Alright, he's trying to catch the back dash there. Oh, I like that. He broke the big tree. Oh yeah, good, good job, Mavi. Cast one of the burst. Thirsty boy. Is he trying to end this with a burst grab? Not like that, Chaz, please. Nice. Simply jump low. He's had some pretty good success in these past few rounds, uh, getting, doing empty air dash low. JD. Just when I say it's that, he goes it. for the JD. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Oh, but it traded. That it would it would have been a mountain to climb, regardless. Oh, and this is big. See, he keeps going for five K. Has after that. Okay, Doran, Doran air dashes the hell out of there. It's opened up high. Oh, this is not looking good for Doran. Okay, I respect it. No, there's still a little bit of recovery there, so Dor Doran tagged him out of that. Look how much meter Chaz gets from that. But the good thing about supers is that it does not take away your meter gain. Wow! The fake, the fake out into the throw. Yeah, he's trying to grab the purse there. Dorn trying to slide through and grab. Oh, and is this gonna work? Yes, just like we saw in the very first round. Now both players without a burst. Dorn has the meter to far slash confirm. He's gonna wire needs, C instead. Just needs to get close enough. Oh. Oh my oh. God! This is it. This is it! Super! No, he no, was up! Oh my god! Thorn! Oh my god! That... Oh my oh. god. I feel oh, like my god. heart just stopped for a second. Like... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm healing over. <laughs> After... Why did he not super it? Maybe he thought it wasn't gonna kill? Or... Too many no, hits? No, he definitely messed it up. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, well like we said, down to the last game. <laughs> Now that's anybody's game. Good Over shit to Dorn for pulling that together at the last second. Dorn! Minus! Last game! This is what I wanted! Let's go! That was the scrambliest of matches, that last one. Hopefully this one's cleaner. Hopefully these players... Pound start dive. So that none of these players want to give up the momentum. They're coming in swinging. The late oh, no, no hits. Chaz is gonna come through with a perfect round one. Chaz actually left a little bit of a gap, and the the early JP did not connect with the note. But he might have been trying to bait out something from Doran. Just as I'm talking, wow. You feel Doran does almost. And Chaz is like that last round was mine. I want it. Yeah. Doran's got his burst back pretty much. It's almost even. Chaz looking out for the JD. Or the 6 HS, I mean. Kind of a burst safe route. Uh, Chaz really wants the burst. Yeah, this might be it. He's not looking good for Doran. Is he gonna go down with dignity? Okay, Doran gets out. He, he can still do this. No, that <sighs> whiff on all the female characters. You have to do only one. Uh oh. Ooh, the dive catching the back oh, yeah. and that's it. Doran better though on that game. DP. What a and set. Man. That was crazy. Such <laughs> wow. Both players adapting super well to each other and just like on the fly making some crazy decisions. That was that was amazing. We saw a lot of good things from Chaz. Um I really liked how he was calling out every single 
six HS. Dorn did not get a chance to just autopilot in pressure. Yeah, I know. I know. I feel like most jams really like to pressure people with puffball and different timings for puffball slash going into the slide. But Chaz was super aware and was able to knock him, especially in the last like four or five rounds. He knocked him out of most of the puffballs Doran tried to do, like in neutral. Just didn't even let him in there. But Doran's defense was also really good that game. Um, he was very conservative when it came to his meter just using dead angle because he didn't want to deal with it. There are certain times he was like, let's go, I'll block this. And then he blocked it and then used that meter that he was going to use for the um, for the dead angle and use that to kill. So I was yeah. super happy to see that from both of these players. Yeah, that was that was great. I mean, this, this match was super cool to commentate because obviously Jam player, you know, Dorn is my boy, <laughs> but Chaz is also my boy. So this is... This is exactly what I wanted from this match. Super yeah. happy for both of them. And then hopefully we get to see this match again tomorrow on a bigger stage, or bigger stage, but <laughs> the biggest, small <laughs> the, stage. The basement there. and next level? The biggest, smallest stage there is. <laughs> so it's going to be super exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see. I, I wonder if they will. Uh, I guess maybe it'll depend on the outcome of Doran versus uh, Manny, but... Um, I'm sure either way, they're definitely going to get in a few sets, whether it's going to be on stream or not. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah. that that was awesome. So, um, next week we have two more matches. Um, both on Thursday again. We have Tenpai versus Octo. Ooh. So, that that's Dizzy Ooh, versus Potemkin, yeah. That matchup used to be really bad for Potemkin, but in this game it's not nearly as bad at all. It's like, supposed to be even, apparently. Buff Dizzy. And for the second match, we have Elvin versus Zidane. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. That, Whoa. That's going to be a show, <laughs> for sure. That is oh, that is the classic. Last time I saw those two play was NEC. Like 2015? Or yeah, yeah, I think two years ago. It was like I NEC sits the team, it was in was off so hard. <laughs> Man, I love this picture. Don't really see Leo <laughs> smiling too much. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and, and we got we got Faust sneaking up from behind from space. <laughs> yeah, through the door. <laughs> this is. I, I want to see the Midwest boys here, and I want to see New York boys in this chat next week, because this is definitely that's the match. This is a classic rivalry. Yeah, and both these players are actually known like by Japanese players. Uh, Zane having a quote himself, and Elvin going to Japan and living there for a while and playing. So they both have some very varied match experiences. So this will be really interesting to watch. All right, so we signing off. Um, yeah, I think we're done. All right. So thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for bearing with all this. Uh, stream issues in the middle. Yeah, thank you again to Silva and Sim for putting this on. Uh, thank you, Sway, for commentating with it me. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Always, man. Um, go follow, uh, go follow Silva on Twitter. Um, what is your, what is your ad again? It's the same as the Twitch. Uh, yes. So just Silva Hime. Um, follow Sway at OK Sway. Uh, follow me at W N E. And um, yeah, thanks for thanks for listening, guys. Catch y'all next week.